before we do animation, we need to add some stuff, right? We need to add some nodes into Unreal. And to do animations, first of all, we don't have an animation folder. So why don't we create one, a new folder, and I'll call it animation. Now I do have control rig here, which is nice. So if I go into it and I go into characters, mannequin, the rig, I can see that I do have the mannequin body and I do have a mannequin control rig, which is really good. So without if I go back to our animation, it's the, there are some things that we need. Since Erica is a different character, it's a different rig than the mannequins that, that Unreal Engine has, we do need to do a few things, a few changes, or we need to add a few things. And one of them is we need to create a thing called, in animation, it's called retargeting. And what that will do, it will make sure that we can retarget animation from many to the new rig. And we can also retarget from the new rig to many. So we can bring animation from Mixamo, bring it in and use retargeting. So for that, I'll do two. Retargeting, I'll do it to IK rig, and I will call it Erica, right K, rig. So if you double click on it, it opens up this. And now this is a little bit confusing and maybe scary, but it really isn't. You want to know what previous skeletal mesh? I'm going to choose Erica. I'm going to look for Erica. And there we go, Erica FBX to rig. And it opens up our rig. And as you can see, this is the proper FBX because her head is, uh, it's got the texture, the shader of the retard of the transparent, also her hair and also the cloth objects that we exported as FBX. And then of course we exported a new file off the cloth only with the shader that is light her body. So we are set to go. Now in order to do retarget no IK rig, I'm going to select the pelvis right here on the hierarchy. If you don't see the hierarchy, you will need to go into window and make sure that this is checked. I want to right click and I'm going to do set retarget root because Unreal needs to know what is the retarget roots here. It's very easy. It's a little bit scary, I know, because I was scared. I was frightened when I first did that. So select the spine, spine two, three, four, and five. Everything that has spy in it. Right click and I'm going to do new retarget chain. And with, when this opens, I make sure that it says spine and I'm going to do head chain. Same thing I'm going to do with neck one and neck two. New for each other chain. All we do now is make sure that it's snacked. All we do now is basically giving the Unreal a window that will basically map or know what the rhythm, what the joints are, what we're going to use. Then we can retarget it to a different rig. It's very smart and it's very, very convenient. Now we'll select the head joint and do the same thing. Select it. Now, of course, many Unreal Engine 5 has a lot of bones in it, a lot of joints. Now, we don't need the eyes. We don't need all that. We do need the clavicle. And the clavicle is, is by itself. So I'm going to right click, new retarded chain. And it calls it left arm, but it's not. So what I'll do is I'll call it clavicle. And I'm actually going to save this name because we're going to use it later. And then we have upper arm, lower arm. And then you see you have all the twists that what Unreal Engine 5 has. And then I'm going to look for the hand. So we have upper arm, lower arm, and hand. And this is the, the, the arm that we need when you retarget. And it's left arm. It looks good to me. Now, of course, you can do the fingers as well. But we're not going to bother with the fingers, even though, because it's going to create a, a bigger list. You can see that it populates everything here. These are the things that we have done. I'm looking at the fingers right now. I'm just going to continue with everything that we need. Now we can see there's the weapon. So basically the weapon, if I select it, it's here. And that is where our um, bow is. So maybe I will do it. Maybe I will do a new retarget and do left weapon in case we need it. Now let's uh, move on to the clavicle. The clavicle right. Right click, new retarget. 
and I mm, just need to make sure that it's clavicle right, add chain, upper arm right, lower arm right, and then I'll select the hand right. Right click, new retarget, right arm, that's fine with me. And you can see that it says, it says here the names of what we had just done. And I don't, we're not going to do the fingers, so I will, maybe I can do the right weapon, weapon right, add chain, and then I will look for my, thy calf, calf, of boot, and bow, new chally, okay, right leg, and it should be the left leg as well. So, my left, calf, right, left, and foot left, and ball left. New chain, left leg. Gets good. Let's IK foot, we don't need that. So what I can do is, uh, I just named it weapon. I can call it weapon underscore L. So we have Erica done. And let's save this. Let's go back into our animation. And now let's do another one. But this one will do for many. So this is we target IK rig and I'll call it many. Thank like you. Rig. And I'll do the same thing. Only this time I will make sure that I'm checking many. SK many. Let's do that. It'll populate the same way. Here's our mini. And I'll do the same thing. I'll check the pelvis and I'll make sure that I get set retarget. Now we'll select spine to 3D4 and 5. You chain that to spine neck 1 and 2. Same thing that we did with Erica. Add is by its own, by itself. And you can see that what I did in Advanced Skeleton, it literally created the same skeleton. So I don't need to look around where things are. And here I'm going to call it Plovical Lift. Basically, it's still in the memory. So if I paste it, you can see that it did it. A chain, upper arm, lower arm, and end. Right click, new retarget, left arm. Not gonna use the fingers right now. Clavicle right. New retarget. And I'm gonna save it as right. Upper arm, lower arm, and the hand right. David, the first time you do it, it probably a little bit slower because you, you're not sure if you're selecting the right joints, but once you do it, it is very simple, and you do it automatically. Left, right leg. My ball. Well, for the weapon, I will make sure that I choose uh, you can see handgun just look for weapon weapon left and weapon right so right click new retarget chain I'll call it weapon left and this one I will do weapon right so we have everything just like Erica. And I'll save this. Good. So now we have I care rig many and I care rig Erica. So if I go back to animation, we just need one more thing. And it is the IK retargeter. You can do it the same name. And now when I open this, it opens up this window. And if I look here, it says source. And now the source, let's say the source will be IK many. 
and it populates many. And the target will be IK Eric IK rig. So basically, it takes up the the target or the IK rig that we just created. Now they're on top of each other, and we don't like it. So we can move around target. Let's do 150. So we can see that Erica has has moved to the right. I mean, you can take it to 120. So if she she'll be closer. Now we have many, and we have Erica. Here we have the source and the target. So if we go to chain mapping right here, this is the asset browser, which means that we can see animation and how it looks. Let's just make sure that everything is populated correctly. Spine is the spine, neck with the neck, head with neck, head with head, left arm, so weapon is weapon L, right arm. That's good. Now let's see the source. Looks the same. For now, let's see the magic. Let's uh, look for an idle animation in the asset browser. Let's do MM idle and see what happens. Double click on it and see what happens. Now this, this happens. So basically it's not bad, but there's something that doesn't really work. And what doesn't work? The arms. And why does that happen? Why is it, um, why is it not working? And that is because if you can see the difference, many is an A pose and Erica is in T pose. And we kind of need to fix this. So the way to do it in, in Unreal Engine 5.3, you press on these three dots here and here you do edit retarget pose. And once you do that, you can go into character, go into bones and make sure that you see all hug and then go into target now what I'll do is, is, you know, very rough. You, all you need to do is select the joints and select both. And we'll just roughly lower them down to, to make it look like the, the A pose that many is in. Now, maybe I don't want to take it all the way down because I do, she does hold a weapon. So I want to keep it to do this. So like these two, and then, and then rotate them on the Z because she does bring the arm. I mean, many does have the arms a little bit in something like this. Uh, maybe I will take the arms a little bit in more. That's good. I do also see that many has the, the legs a little bit more spread, and that means that these guys the the inwards a little bit more. I think that that's fair enough. That's good. Hey, okay, what's now? get rid of the bones we don't want to see them and that's uh let's look another one let's do walk many mm many many can walk and then there you go we do have retargeting of an animation which is really cool now if we also retarget at the, the, the fingers then she will have the same animation that many has but we didn't do it. So now whenever we have to remember that whenever we do retargeting, we it's not just happens. It doesn't happen automatically. So what we do need to do, once we like some sort of animation, we need to export a selected animation. So I'll do that right now. Now put it in animation. Then uh, that's it. Let's export this. Now at the animation that you want, you need to export it separately. So if I do many, if I do the female, he stands a little bit different, but as you can see, it's the same rig. Really is the same rig. Someone who export into animation, you can add prefix and suffix, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Now we have animation exported for our friend Erita. 
So I'll just save this and we can close this none. And that's what we have. So we have the IK retargeter. Let's create a new folder and we'll call it exported animation. And let's put these one, the idle and the walk. Let's drag them over here, both here. Okay, so let's go into it and let's name it breaker idle. And let's name this Aretha Walk. Cool. So now Erica's body. Let's add the animation and see how it looks. Erica Idol. And there you go. Now what we see here is because we haven't set uh, a cloth to it, so we'll get to it. But as you can see, we have Erica with an idol animation. If I go on top of it, I can see that this is 130 frames. So we'll go here and I will type in 130. And it goes to the end of the, the sequence. And I will just make sure that this is where the end of the, the timeline is. And we have some animation on our Erica. Let's make sure that it loops and plays. So she's got animation, her head moves correctly with the body. And then when we add the, when we'll add some cloth to it, it's going to look really nice, really sharp. Both. I think that's for now. This is a good way to stop. And of course, we're going to continue on the next video. So guys, I can't wait to do some more animation and some more cloth simulation. And you can see that everything moves properly. So, and guys, until the next time, Goblin Nation.